Welcome to Science Tree Channel. Today's topic is covalent bond from class 9th chapter number 4. Do you know what is covalent bond? A bond formed by the mutual sharing of electrons between atoms is known as covalent bond. Now, how many number of electrons will gonna share between two atoms? Always remember, minimum it can be a one pair of electron. Here, I am using the word minimum. Am I right? Yes. Minimum means that at least it can be a one pair of electron or it can be more than one pair of electron according to the need. So, a bond formed between atoms by the mutual sharing of electrons is known as a covalent bond. Here the question arises that why atoms used to form a covalent bond Yes, they used to form a covalent bond when they don't want to lose their electrons completely or they don't want to gain electrons permanently. At that time, they used to share their electrons and form a very unique bond that is known as a covalent bond. On the basis of polarity, covalent bond has two types, polar covalent bonds and non-polar covalent bonds. So, what are polar covalent bonds? Polar covalent bonds formed when bonding electrons will be unequally shared between two atoms. Here you have to memorize the word unequally. It means that a pair of electron which gonna be shared will spend more time in highly electronegative element than as compared to the other element. Here is an example of hydrochloric acid in which Hydrogen is electropositive element and chlorine is electronegative element. So, what do you think? What gonna be happened here? Yes, as chlorine is highly electronegative element, it will attract an electron of hydrogen and complete its octet rule like 8 electrons in its valence shell. Now, what happens with hydrogen? Hydrogen will attract 2 electrons from chlorine. So, now Hydrogen has completed its duplet rule. Both these elements have not given their electrons completely, but they share their electrons according to the need. Now, as a pair of electron is spending more time in chlorine, so that's why chlorine will get a negative charge and hydrogen will get a positive charge. Nonpolar covalent bond. Here the name indicates non-polar, it means that the polarity is not present in it. So what are non-polar covalent bonds? Bonding electrons will be equally shared between atoms. Now here I am taking an example of hydrogen. What is happening in it? Hydrogen has one electron in its outermost shell and it needs two to complete the duplet rule and to get stable. So it will attract one electron from the other hydrogen but it will not take this electron completely or permanently. It will take it for some time or we can say that the both hydrogens will share their electrons with each other and complete their duplet rule. So in this way, this is a non-polar covalent bond. Types of covalent bond. Now, minimum number of pair of electron shared between an atoms is one. Remember, here I am using the word minimum. It can be more than one like single covalent bond, double covalent bond or triple covalent bond. Now here in single covalent bond, one pair of electron will be shared. In case of double covalent bond, two pair of electrons will be shared. In case of triple covalent bond, three pair of electrons will be shared. Let's discuss it by means of example. Single covalent bond. Now when each atom is sharing its one electron, it will form a single covalent bond. Here we can take an example of carbon. We all know that carbon belongs to group number 4A and its atomic number is 6. Do you know that atomic number means the number of protons and number of protons are always equal to number of electrons. So carbon is 6 electrons 
but it will able to share its four electrons because four electrons are present in the outermost shell. Now, carbon will not donate its four electrons to any other element and also it will not get four electrons from the other elements. Instead of all this, carbon will be share its four electrons with other atoms. Let's take an example of methane. In case of methane, carbon form four single bonds with four hydrogen atoms. Now, we all know that every atom wants to get stable and to get stability, carbon wants to achieve eight electrons in its outermost shell or we can say that elements will follow octet rule or duplet rule to get stable. Now here, carbon and hydrogen will get stability by sharing their electrons. Carbon will share its four electrons with four hydrogen atoms. So now, when carbon wants to complete its octet rule, it will take one electron from each hydrogen. So in this way, carbon has eight electrons in its valence shell and it gets stable. And if I talk about hydrogen, hydrogen will get stable when it contains two electrons in its outermost shell. For that, each hydrogen will take one electron from carbon. In this way, it will follow the duplet rule. So, in case of single covalent bond, every atom is sharing its one electron with every other atom. In this way, carbon and hydrogen will get stable. Double covalent bond. Now, in case of double covalent bond, a pair of electron will be provided by one atom or we can say that four electrons will be shared between two atoms. So, in this way, a bond formed is a double covalent bond. Like in case of ethene, what is happening here? In case of ethene, carbon has four electrons in its valence shell, but it will only share its two electrons with hydrogen and the rest of the two electrons will be shared by the other carbon atom. In this way, the bond which is formed between them is a double covalent bond. In case of double covalent bond, we use the word ene, like these are alkenes. If I take an example of oxygen molecule, we know that oxygen molecule is made up of two oxygen atoms and each oxygen atom has six electrons in its valence shell. And how many electrons it requires to complete its octet rule? Yes, it requires eight electrons. So now it needs a pair of electron. From where it get a pair of electron? It will get this pair of electron from the other oxygen atom in this way and complete its octet rule. Similarly, the other oxygen atom will get a pair of electron from this oxygen to complete its octet rule. So there is a double covalent bond exists between an oxygen molecule. Triple covalent bond. Always remember, carbon can form single, double and triple covalent bond with each other. We know that carbon has four electrons in its outermost shell. Now in case of triple covalent bond, carbon is sharing its three electrons with other carbon atom. So in this way, the bond formed between two carbon atoms will be a triple covalent bond. And the one electron which will be left behind in carbon will form a bond with hydrogen. So, this is a compound known as ethyne. There is another example of triple covalent bond like a nitrogen molecule. In case of nitrogen molecule, two nitrogens are forming bond with each other. Now, how many number of covalent bonds are present between nitrogen molecule? Yes, triple covalent bond because in this case, carbon is sharing its three electron with each other like 1, 2 and 3. So again here, 1, 2 and 3. Carbon has 5 electrons in its outermost shell and it will share its three electrons with each other to form a triple covalent bond. Thank you so much. For more videos, keep watching.